All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Free Reign Six and Podcast. It's been about a week, and we're uh, we're back at it. We're gonna knock out a quick episode. We got the whole squad here. We got Dad. We got Christian. We got Zane. We got myself. Yes, sir. Oh, How's everybody it. been doing lately? It's been a great week. Yeah, yeah. great week. Yeah. Yeah. Great week. I'm super. I'm so energized after all that last week. I mean, they just. They did us such a favor, you know, and it got me going. I'm fired up. And I'm more fired up about our freedom and um, free speech and shit like that. I, I'm just ready mm-hmm. to go. Well, they weren't they weren't biased with anything on the news. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they just yeah. reported it right. like they yep. should, like you're supposed to. Yeah. They got a little shock value out of it, you know, mm-hmm. all that, but that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. We got little goofball clown groups, fucking <laughs> clown mobs. Yeah coming after us i think they calling us racist i think there some uh, some people are just delusional think we're vulnerable or something or i'm vulnerable it just yeah. made us stronger there's Literally. some people that just need what? some shit to cry about hopefully we we won some people over too when they they engaged and looked at yeah. their stuff you know oh yeah yeah if they were looking at all of our stuff there's no way they could think what they were thinking yeah no exactly no way. Yeah. yeah yeah the views on youtube have jumped subscribers have jumped yep. um it's been great well yeah, speaking on is. that 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 woman, when I can say who her, her name is, but that woman's talking about racial stuff. She posted on Facebook the other day. Like, me and my brother are mixed. R- racially charged like, language. Yeah. I was me like, and my brother are mixed, and my dad's white. <laughs> so if we're mixed, what does that mean? Yeah. My, my dad's married, you know, had kids with a black woman. Right. So I don't, yeah, I don't right. know what y'all are talking about. Nah, these fucking clowns, fucking idiots, douchebags yeah. want to post us and talk shit on us. I mean, we can say her fucking name. No. The CC, we won't even say her last name because that's a retarded name, anyways. You know, nobody's gonna, there's probably a ton of retarded CCs out there. <laughs> you know, fuck them. <laughs> you know, I, we messaged her on on Facebook, offered uh, to have her come by and uh, have a drink or just have a have a civil conversation. Didn't get a message back, but she's gonna be out there and post, <laughs> posting shit, posting us and yep. talking shit. Yeah, you did do the right thing, right? You reached out yeah. to her on Facebook, offered to meet with her and talk uh-huh. about stuff, and she didn't That's take how it us goes, up on yeah. Pe- People just want to people want to seem powerful. They just want to have that. Oh, I'm it. You know what I mean? Like mm. they don't really actually care about what's going on. They just have somebody say, "Oh, can you do this?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, for sure. I feel like I'm great now. I'm, I feel like I'm a hero. I'll do it." Yeah. And they do mm-hmm. it, and then yeah. Right. They look stupid. Yeah, they just look fucking retarded. <laughs> fucking stupid. Like, that, it's like people really do just need something to cry about. Yeah. I don't know what it is. We, we're just normal people with the fucking podcast. We're just kicking it. Well, you know, and some of the things that, that folks like her, you know, go on about, I, I get it. You know, I, I know. But she picked the wrong people to. To fuck with. To yeah, fuck we with. don't care. Yeah. We're not like that. Yeah, we own a media company, <laughs> so you put us on the news yeah. and you do this. We know exactly what to do with it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> like double well, down. The f- you must go. have not done enough research, or no. whoever reported us, whoever the pussy is no. that was anonymous and couldn't name themselves because they're a fucking dickless coward. Yeah, you know whoever that is. Yeah, fuck you. But thank you. Yep. You know. Thank you. Because there's a ton of people that agree with us. There, there's a ton of people across America that agree. And are thinking the same things that we're talking about. Yeah. And for those that disagree, we're having a conversation. And that yeah. means that it's not for you. So yeah. shut up. Well, yeah. you know, it is for everybody. They might not realize it, but we fight, you know, we push for freedom for every woman and man. But yeah. if you want to be a douchebag, I guess, you know, you can fucking no, yeah. lead your way exactly. into communism and socialism and fucking, yeah. you know, yeah. be a douchebag and, yeah. and be poor like you probably are, you know, instead of being a high achiever like we try and push people to be. You know, you can be who you are and be a coward and not name yourself and talk shit or not respond to a message when we're offering to have a civil conversation. And then on the flip side, you're out there running your mouth still. You're a coward. And our offer is always out there. Yeah. Our offer is always out there. Somebody wants to have a a good discussion, we're, we're all about it. Yeah, yep. it only gets worse from here, so you might as well just get on right now. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just hop on the podcast right now. Yeah, there there was get supposed to be deep. a public meeting here locally where uh, there was uh, people talking about protest and Jeff Fisher and and uh, the podcast and free reign and you know just coming for us. They were, they were ready to pile onto us in the public meeting, um, but 
certain people that run those meetings, they all put in a day of absence. They didn't want nothing to do with it. You know, either they support or they agree or they uh, don't want to end up on the news. Mm -hmm. You know, one of those. Um, but yeah, still dealing with some bullshit from the blue haired fucking clown mob <laughs> that need to cry about something. Yeah. But. You know, we're still here, we're still living, we're still fucking grinding. We just got done shooting today with the KC Current. Yeah, that was exciting. The uh, new, new uh, soccer team, women's soccer team, first with their own stadium yep. on the Berkeley Riverfront. Yeah, that's awesome. So, <clears throat> you motherfuckers talking shit, yeah. fucking running your mouth, always got something to say. I got something for you. It's sitting right here in between my legs, motherfucker. You know? <laughs> so do what you want with it. You can keep running your mouth or you can fucking come and have at it. Uh, right? uh, we're just going to make but, this uh, JJ, the JJ podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I think uh, Casey Curran, I think they have a game tomorrow, right? Do they really? Are they yeah. That, that, oh, okay. Mm, well, first cool. game <clears> playing. I know I went by there the other night, and it was all lit up. Yeah, it, it looks really fucking badass. cool. Yeah, have they yeah. finished that stadium yet? I thought they were still working on it for Yeah, they have a game morning. tomorrow. Well, they got a game playing, tomorrow, so. Playing <laughs> Portland. Yeah, I don't know if it's all done around, like outside. It didn't look like it was, I don't know. Mm -hmm. but. but anyway, shout out to Kendu for bringing in that job. Kendu's great. Yes, yep. sir. Kendu Company. He's a part of Free Reign. He hangs out he does a lot of work he yeah. uh does most of our graphics and uh great dude shout out to the tough club and river market for having us come by and using us um for you know the cameras and everything it was a great time great experience yeah, uh getting like some connections yeah. i'll be working out there yeah so if there, you know if anybody needs to work out if anybody's a fat ass and they you know they want to improve their lives i'm skinny I lost about 50 pounds over the past however many years, so I'm going to get back to it and beef up, get ready for summer. All right. Yes, sir. And uh, the other company, Fabletics, great company. You can look them up on social media. They you know, have a good following and uh, great marketing, great videos and content. Yeah. It's uh, great working with all those people. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. so you got a few items we want to talk about, huh? Yeah, so we'll kick it off. Uh, Biden regrets using a word that you're not supposed to use, according to the fucking clown mob. Um, during the State of the Union um, speech that he was given, where he was shot up with adrenaline, possibly. Yeah, shot up with something. Shot up with something. Yeah. something it was being something good. Something got him going. And, and, still, you know? and still called him illegal. Yeah, so he, <laughs> he calls the Lake and Riley... He calls her Lincoln Riley, doesn't even know her name, doesn't, you know, probably hasn't looked into it very much. Um, calls her Lincoln Riley and then, the, you know, states that the person that murdered her is an illegal. And then afterwards, you know, obviously that's not the word that they're supposed to use. So in the interview afterwards, he's uh, saying that he regrets using the word illegal. What a coward. Yeah, absolutely. What a fucking coward. <laughs> Like what, what? And he couldn't even honor her by saying her name correctly. Right? Yeah, seriously, like mm -hmm. that just tells everybody that you don't care. Did he apologize? You didn't even for saying study her name no. You didn't even study no, her name. No, he apologized for using the word illegal. Illegal. So yeah. the dude that murders this girl, you you apologized for calling him illegal, but you're all right, you know. So yeah. and that and that's a fucking bitch. So what do you yeah. think that's for? Why do you think he comes out and apologizes for calling somebody illegal? It's Vote. Who's, who's telling yeah, him? Who's, who's, somebody yeah. in there was like, dude, that's the wrong word to use. And he's like, what do you mean? I don't even remember what I said. You know, it's like, <laughs> just like, just being a bitch, yeah. you know, just being somebody's bitch. I'll be what glad he's when doing. it's over. I'll be yeah. glad when it's over. Well, somebody could go ahead and solve it now if they did something. But yeah. you know, we won't fucking... We don't want to. You mean like pull him we don't out? End up on the news again. Make him retire. <laughs> yeah, make him make him retire. That's what we'll call it. Make him retire. Yeah. <laughs> There's obviously enough evidence. Like he's the one like allowing so many uh, illegal immigrants to, immigrants to come like over the border. Yeah. So the moment that he puts like a negative connotation to it, people are gonna be like, oh, maybe it is a bad thing that he's letting, yeah. letting this happen. Yeah. yeah. So he's sitting there trying to save ass because he fucked up in in his mm -hmm. speech, like. You know, yeah. that's what he's saying you know. in the uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah for sure. Like, yeah, like, what, what, would you, what, what else would anybody else think, like, if that happened to them? Yeah. They think the same fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, like, if like, you, oh. we got to get it straight. Like, if you come into the country not legally, that makes it 
illegal, illegal. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that makes you right. There's no other an way illegal. To spin it. Yeah. You're illegal. Like why are we trying to come up with these terms? And it's the same shit as like the LGBTQ fucking mob. They want to call pedophiles minor attracted person. What are they? Why can't them? minor attracted person? Gotta, they want to normalize. I gotta think about liking, that for a dude. This shit's ridiculous. We just it's need to weird. clearly state what the fuck's going on. So you just can't call him pedophile? No. I mean, well, we, we can. We can for sure. We're, we're keeping that shit running. Well, I know <laughs> we're going to, but that's, yeah. that's... Oh, my gosh. In our yeah. book, that word is still running. Yeah. These motherfuckers support so much crazy. You can't call these people illegal anymore? Why? What, like, why? <laughs> well, we it know just why. don't fucking make sense. It's like it's like LGBT whatever like that that literally like you're in my book to be honest like that shit don't apply to my life like if you're LGBTQ whatever but you're gay like you're gay you're You're just gay gay. (laughs) like I don't you know I'm I'm from a time (laughs) I'm not from like a long time ago or nothing but literally like it changed pretty fast but I'm from a time where people you know we called them gay. That's it. Yeah. You know, even if they weren't a man or a woman or whatever, man. The whole deal's turning into like a fucking Star Wars. Literally, really. like literally, you bro, got Princess fucking Leia. people that can dress up <laughs> like whatever and call themselves cats, and you got kids shitting in litter boxes in schools. Like, no, dude, God. this shit is Star. This is real life space balls, actually. <laughs> <For> <laughs> real. Seen space balls, For real. like, dude, yeah. this shit's getting ridiculous, man. <laughs> So like you're gonna run the clip of Spaceballs when you do. This, yeah. Right? Like, what's his, what was his name? Dark Helmet. Where <laughs> yeah. the dude Dark teleports helmet. and he ends up like two feet away from himself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this shit's getting fucking. It's it's like, yeah, it's stupid. This shit is turning into a big fucking clown show. Like, I don't know, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, people would be like, "What?" Zane's right. Minor attractive fast. person. It happened really so fucking fast. fast. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. fast. We're normalizing all these fucking things. Like, that literally, within two years, it happened. It flipped real fucking fast. Like, yeah. when I was a fucking sophomore in high school, I could vividly remember not hearing about trans. I, I didn't even know what a transgender was. Literally. Like, in freshman year of high school. Yeah, because you called him a tranny back then, and you, you didn't have to hold back or anything. Like I you, called him gay. Yeah, Chick, I just called them dicks. Yeah, I, that's <laughs> all I call. I didn't call them like transgender, all this non-binary bullshit. Like I had no idea what the fuck that was, and nobody else did either. Nobody was talking about it. Yeah. A year later, oh shit, I'm gonna chop off my dick and prove something. Like, mm. what are you doing? And now everybody has to have the Chill same out. dictionary. Yeah, everybody has to Dude. have the same fucking dictionary. Well, it reminds me of the shit. flags. I've been wanting to talk about the flags thing for a while, and I just never got an opportunity. Like. You know the the gay flag, the Mexican flag, the whatever Irish flag. I don't want to see any of that. Like all I want to see is the American flag, right? Yeah, we're in America. I don't want to see anything else. Well, if if you're flying the, I like the I like people taking pride in where they came from. I'm not not against that, yeah. right? But when we fly different flags that aren't <clears throat> that aren't the American flag, the state flag, or military service flag. All it does is create divisiveness. It creates an identity which inherently creates divisiveness. Yeah, it's like if that country's so great, why are you here? Yeah. Seriously. Why'd you come here? Yeah. Like why are you find the Mexican flag? I'm right. sorry. There's I'm not front, great I'm, Mexican people. Right? right. All the people I know that are Mexican are great fucking people. Yeah. You know, but yeah. like the I'm not flying the flag of Finland. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know. Not happening. Or like Norway or the you con- know, the Scandinavian these countries suck. Countries. Yeah. These countries suck. Like M- Mexico's run by cartels. They don't even have control over their own. Of course, we got our own shit. cartel. The Marines, yeah, 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 the yeah, Marines yeah, of own. Mexico, they fight the cartels. Not even the police, because the police is so corrupt. Yeah, yeah, we it's got our Marine. own cartel here. We have Marines here. We go to battles overseas. Yeah, I'd probably be okay if somebody's flying a. C- a flag of another country if that American flag is up above it flying as well. Yeah. You know, Facts. You can't fucking stop people from doing what they want to do. No. It's freedom. All I'm suggesting is it's another way to create devices. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, the shit we're talking about right now is, man, it's going to stir up some shit. I'll tell you that. Oh. Dude, cool. Well, sir, dude, like if we're going to... We might have to edit this one. <laughs> if we're, <laughs> we're going to go to 
like you know fund a war against russia for bombing ukraine dude mexico people in mexico cartels and shit have killed more people in our country than russia ever right. has yep. what, you, what the fuck are we doing bro Spend they've killed them motherfuckers spending billions bro, el, there. el chapo he owned the u.s and everything around it russia belgium germany every everybody with drugs right so he's killed more people in the world, the world than any Anybody. Any war. Yeah, any war or any, yeah. like Yeah, what are we doing? Yeah. March our fucking troops up, cross that shit, and fix right. that thing. Dude, right. it's crazy. Right. Like, Got get our, rid of them motherfuckers. Our priorities are all screwed up. And yeah. the, our, our cartel, the CIA, is one doing a lot of that stuff, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think you heard in uh, Carrie Lake's that uh, little snippet thing uh, that the cartel is operating in all 50 states. That's crazy. It is. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. That seems like more of an enemy to the U.S. than Russia. Than anything For else. real. Yeah. Yeah. That, that seems like more of a problem to me. Yep. And our borders are wide open. I agree. That seems like a much bigger problem. Yep. We got, we got some really good people in this country that just ain't paying enough attention to this. I know, I know a lot of people that have died from, like, without violence. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. from, like, just drugs and i'm sure right. i know you, yeah. you do too right. you know right. a lot. Yeah. no I've, oh, yeah. i have uh, 17 friends that have overdosed and died that are no longer living on this earth yeah because of drugs that came over the fucking border we got to have more people unafraid to step up and speak up let's take control we got to take this shit back and we yeah. got to start now there's a lot of people that you know that are talking about they're like oh my god like you guys are like you know, you guys are bold, you know, doing this stuff and speaking out like nobody else wants to do this. I'm like, okay, well, we're starting, you know, let's, 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 join, let's, in. let's yeah, join yeah. in. Let's and do I, it. I will say before we um, end up fixing it, the drugs come over the border. It takes personal responsibility first. That like you motherfuckers need to stop doing drugs. Stop acting cool. Stop going to raves and fucking sniffing whatever you're sniffing. Mm -hmm. That shit's ridiculous. You're gonna fucking die. Yep. You don't know what's in it. Right. People got testers and shit, and you got dude. That shit's fucking stupid. Yep. Stop doing the shit. You keep doing it. At some point, you're gonna fucking sniff the wrong shit. Yeah, you're gonna be fucked. I just had a friend a couple of weeks ago that died from fentanyl. It's uh, it's crazy. It's, it's sad, sad. It is. but personal responsibility. Make sure the people around you and your, you know, yourself, you know, just just stay away from it. Yep. How big do you think the drug problem has gotten since we've let all everybody in? Well, we'll see here in the next yeah, year. Yeah, no, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. It's already this bad. Like, how do you think yeah. it's going to be letting all these people Shit, in? Shit, motherfucker, just drink some beer. <laughs> just drink, what the fuck yeah. you doing? Got Come on, in here. Shit in your nose. <laughs> yeah. Come on, dog. Yeah. Well, and for people yeah. to think, too, that the cartel doesn't see how wide open the border is and they're just flat. Uh, like, exactly. You know, That's what yeah. I was saying. Yeah. yeah. Disguising it as families. Disguise, you know. Right. Come on, now. Like it's crazy. They had, way, they had ways of getting over here whenever, even when Trump, whenever Trump was in office, like they have ways of getting here. Whenever you open the front door, it's like, right. you know. But there's people the walking through. over that have been cut up. They got bricks in their stomach. And they're walking over. As soon as they get over, like 30 minutes later, they're dead. It's crazy. They're dying because that either they waited too long and that cocaine, whatever shit, busted in their stomach, and now they're fucking overdosing, or you know. They're just fucking dead from them being cut up. Like, they're killing everybody. That's ridiculous. And, and there's real terrorists coming across. Right? There's real terrorists. Like, yeah. real terrorists. You see, we've all seen that dude. I'm shocked we haven't seen anything, right, that already happened. Yeah. Yeah, if you're watching this, definitely look into how many terrorists are on the terrorist watch list compared to years before. Yep. yep. It's staggering. Yep. It's crazy. Something's going to happen, unfortunately. Not yeah. Right. Some definitely. I mean, a lot of things are going to happen. You Gear up. The border's open, like you know. You we have we have a friend. After all this, I just thought of this, and I, I'm very sort of proud of. It, right after all that stuff last week, we have a friend that um, has heard from some people, you know, with their concerns about free reign, talking about civil war and all that stuff, and and uh, he's like, you know what? If things do go south. They're going to be the ones fighting for your ass. Exactly. Right? That's that's it. When yeah. things do go south, and we hope they don't, if they do, he says, they're the ones going to be standing up for you guys. 
fighting for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. That is true. Yeah, it's good to see that somebody uh, sees the value in standing up for purely freedom. Mm -hmm. Freedom for all. Yeah. No No exceptions. exceptions. Yeah, our deal is we're a brand created around the fact that every woman and man is born with the right to freedom. And we showcase American culture. We believe that freedom is the nucleus of happiness. That's what we say. And we have our own opinions as people because we're humans and we're not robots and we're not CNN people that get told something to say. And if they say the wrong thing, they're fired or something. You know, we're not none of that. We're speaking here. We got topics, but that's the only thing that's, you know, scripted that we're we're talking about these certain topics that we have listed out. Other than Mm -hmm. that, we're speaking exactly what's on our mind. Yep. We even disagree on things we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Individually, we, we have different things, different perspectives. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But we don't just sit here and argue about it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So we got another topic. Um, the nine year old chiefs fan that was, uh, <clears throat> smeared is what they're saying across all media. Um, comes out that, uh, that he has native American in his blood. Half his face was black. Half his face was red. He had the headdress on at the game, nine years old, yeah, and he gets time. blasted everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout nine, out, nine shout year out old to him. Kid. Right. Hold, his name's Holden Armenta. Okay. Yeah. Holden Armenta. I think his family's suing for yeah, some they, type of oh, defamation yeah. case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats. Yeah, definitely. Oh. And now that that company's going out of business or something or sold and yeah, so yeah they, they bro, dead, dead spin dead spin they, to they, that they little sold. kid bro shout out because you don't know what you just did dude yeah, like right. you're doing big things like yeah. it's bigger it's just as big as colin kaepernick kneeling yeah you know what i mean like yeah. it's fucking it's a movement yeah colin kaepernick's pussy but yeah like, we know what you, you know what yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was yeah. significant yeah, yeah, yeah no it yeah. had a big impact yeah, yeah it had you a know. big impact yeah. Yeah. motherfucker got on his knees <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. uh, there's uh my dr- one of my drill instructors from uh marine corps boot camp um there was some kid on on their both knees and he was like hey do men get on both knees? And we're all like, no, sir. <laughs> he didn't get on both knees, but he, he got on a knee. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Tells us that he's used to it. <coughs> something. He was on, he was on, he was on, he was on his way, he was on his way to both. So yeah. So his knees were broke in already. <laughs> yeah. he, he probably didn't have no knee Muzzle pads memory. on. Probably had, memory. <laughs> he probably ain't had no knee pads on. Shout out he was to that young, ready. Sh- Shout out to that young man and his family. Yeah, so what, <laughs> what other information we got on that? Christian, you were saying uh, earlier, what did they only show a certain angle? Yeah, like whenever I remember whenever I first saw this article and like kind of um, the few days following that game, um, whenever they like started posting about it, um, <clears throat> yeah, they had initially, the picture they had used was, of course, from the side where you couldn't see any of like the, the red, red on his face. Yeah. You, you, didn't, you didn't see that till maybe like two days after they – like put out the initial article. Shame on y'all, bro. <clears throat> yeah. But I mean, obviously, that's how uh, that's like that's like the prime example of like mainstream media, yeah. where it's like they they see something, they take what they want from it, and they blow it up to as big as they can and throw it out there, and then you know people are reaching and grabbing for it. But it's like you know, yeah, take, take, take it like the rush to be first to report a story. Like yeah. they, you know, a photographer got an image of this kid. Yeah send it to him and they immediately write up a story about it Idiot. without seeing the other side of his face right. like was his whole face black or was half his face you know like the other side yeah. was red he's just wearing his you know team colors and chiefs don't yeah. wear black and but native like, american and it's yeah. a fucking chief goes along with the headdress it's the shit. chiefs they wear fucking face paint bro yeah. it don't matter if he's fucking white or if he's black or he's painting his fucking face or the, you know this or that it's the Chiefs, bro. They use yeah. face paint. So if he wants to use face paint, he's going to use it. The nine, nine year old, old kid ain't racist. He was going to a like, fucking football fuck? game, having a good ass time. And the thing is, the Chiefs, the actual name Chief, doesn't come from Native Americans here in Kansas City. It comes from who is the Chief? The guy. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that story? No, I don't. But outside of that, <laughs> here around the area, like you can go to Fort Osage. Yeah. You can, any. You go to Independence over there, where uh, where you're from. There's Susquehanna, yep. and all these you know all these names that you can't pronounce and shit. Like, it's a heavily Hawaiian dots 
Shawnee. Native American. You know? Yeah, Shawnee. Dude, this whole area yeah. is all about that shit. Olathe. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, it's all in honor of Native American. Right? Literally. Yeah. 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 So there's, you know, maybe you can argue like, well, Chiefs, if it ain't about Indian, Native Americans, then maybe, you know, why, why are they doing? Well, yeah. There's probably some arguments to be made, and maybe I can be schooled on the facts. Um, so if you got some facts, drop it down in the comments. Yes, yeah, sir. We love it. it out. Absolutely. You know, yep. not fully informed, but I I would assume that that nine year old kid is not racist, and right. it's not that big of a fucking deal. Right. And like, yeah. why why is that news? <clears throat> yeah. Why is that news? Seriously. Like, you're just trying to stir something up. Exactly. Just trying like to stir just, something up. Bro. You're just trying to follow a narrative that everybody else is following. Yep. Leave the kid alone. Yep. Got your nuts in the ring or two, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. So like, the <laughs> that company, Deadspin, did we already say their whole staff? Oh yeah, gone. they're yeah. done. They're all they're all fired. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> well, they they <laughs> sold, so it's not they they sold the company. Yeah. So they fired everybody, whoever yeah, whoever sold. owned or yeah. ran that company sold it. So it's and yeah. the new people were like y'all are y'all. Are, yeah, yeah, you're done. Yeah. You're you know what yeah. sucks is there wasn't one person in that staff that said you know what this ain't the right thing to do. Oh I know. Well, they're, they're oh, not, yeah, not, not, yeah, maybe, maybe there, was. there was. Maybe there was, but in an organization like that, like they're not. They're not going to give you a voice. They're yeah, not gonna, no, exactly. They're not going to hear you. They yeah. have an agenda to follow. That's the perfect thing y'all said, too. Maybe there was. Yeah. And let's recognize That's that. There was. Yeah. There right. was yeah. somebody. Yeah. Like, there has to be yeah, somebody. Yeah, there had to be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or and at least all of them, the thought ran through their head, like, this is a nine-year-old kid. This just right. out of game. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? Yeah. But they take full advantage of that situation and use it, you know, use it to follow along with the narrative that they're told to follow. Yeah. Blackmail in some sort of way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Stupid. that's the only way. Who fucking gives a shit, dude? Oh, yeah. Who like, cares? Uh, Why? Let There's the so kids much. have a good time at the game. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, like, those fucking people on that team, I guarantee you, like, whoever that kid's dad is, would love to beat the fuck out of them. Oh right. yeah, yeah. You know, just love to fucking beat the shit put, out of them, motherfuckers. Put, put you try to ruin that. my son's life, right. I'm gonna ruin yours right. physically, yeah. bro. Yep. Make you bleed. Ridiculous. Yeah, no, that's fucked got. up. The January 6th more thing. topics. We got the uh, yeah January sixth. Um, oh, Liz Cheney hiding evidence. Yeah, so mm. a while back they uh, put out there that there was no evidence that Trump. Um, Trump requested troops, National Guard members, to uh, the Capitol on January 6th. Comes out, he did. He requested 10,000 of them yeah. to help mediate the situation. It was Pelosi right? that turned it down. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But these, these hit, the shit's getting so ridiculous. Yeah. And there's, you know, all the stories about FBI informants. Like, FBI, there's so many testimonies out there where they can't even tell you if there was or wasn't FBI informants there. They can't tell you if there was any coordination of the FBI. It's like plausible. You know, having something to do with. Or so yeah. unorganized. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how the fuck are you going to trust somebody that can't tell you if they, if there was this or was that? Like, yeah. but, that's their own organization. Yeah. How can they not tell you? Uh, uh, they can. They just. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, right. we all know yeah. that they can. Yeah. But that, that that committee hid this evidence, and so now we know. Yeah. Yeah. They're done. Yeah. yeah, there's this New York Post article, actually. FBI lost count of how many paid informants were at the Capitol January 6th and later performed an audit to figure out exactly right. what <coughs> ex-official says. Yeah. So this, uh, I mean, you're giving, you're putting all this fuel to the fire with, with fucking with Trump. Yeah. You know? Like I've said before, this dude has already, he, do, he doesn't need to be president. He has such a big brand and name that his father even started before him. And Trump is a, is a brand. Everybody, he's the most famous person in the whole entire world. Wherever you put his name, if it's easy to identify that what you're saying may be false, you're fucking yourself. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, and it's strong. Yeah. Yeah, you got the, uh, there's like a, this guy named Ray Epps. It's been a story for a while. He's uh, seen whispering to some people in their ear. And then uh, out of nowhere, they start tearing down the barricades at the Capitol. And then Ray Epps is no long, nowhere to be seen anywhere after that. You know. Who is he? 
Um, they say that he has something to do with the FBI. Huh. People are saying that. It's right in front yeah. of your face. Allegedly. All this is alleged. You know, we don't. Yeah. We're just, we're just talking. We're just normal dudes. It's a lot of smoke know. and mirrors is what this stuff is. It's yeah. deceptive and trying to hide shit from us. And there's like, what, like 800-something people that were arrested for January 6th? But, like, you got the bullshit clown mob George Floyd bullshit where there's a fucking drug addict that died from an overdose. Didn't The cops didn't kill him. You got cops in prison getting stabbed and shit for the shit that happened to George Floyd. Nothing happened to him. He took fucking drugs and he, over, he fucking died from fentanyl. You know, so you got... But you got all these people out there rioting, fucking burning down shit, burning down cities. What happens to them? Nothing. They were defending this fucking drug addict criminal yeah but when it comes to january 6th there may or may not be people fbi in informants jail. involved yeah, there's people wild. going to jail everywhere <clears throat> yeah. yeah well you gotta think too brother whenever all this was going down people were like oh they're tearing up the capitol they're they're in there you know breaking windows doing this this and that and you know a few months go by and all that stuff and then videos come out and they're like peacefully just like walking through there um yeah. You know, cops are showing people around different different rooms, different, you know. There's no videos of anybody breaking shit. To me, what I get from those examples really is that it's, it's, it's all about this, um, this media system, this media we have that are controlling the narratives and any opportunity they get, they're creating divisiveness, right? People can argue about George Floyd. They can argue about January 6th. But all they're doing is dividing us. That's all they're doing. They're creating hate and discontent Literally. amongst the American people. Yeah, the that's all they're doing. They don't care about George Floyd, and they don't care about the guys that are going to jail with January. They don't give 6th a fuck. Thing. They don't give a shit about any of them. They mm-hmm. don't give a shit about the anarchists. They don't, they don't give, give a, a fuck sh- about the Marines they, that died over right. in fucking what is it, Benghazi? Nope. That fucking that tried to yeah, they don't give a fuck about that shit. Nope. We can get and that's that what we've been talking about yeah. this whole time. No, nah, I'm just saying, bro. It goes those deep. Are, it goes as deep as that. Marines. That's what it. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, his point is the media don't care about these. They don't give a fuck. No, mm-hmm. they don't. The government they don't, don't care give a about fuck. Us. The gov- yeah. So this Jacob Chansley, he's the one that wore the horns, and you see this guy with the face paint, and uh, you know looks vicious and stuff. He was escorted by by the police at the Capitol, escorted through the Capitol, and there's videos of him being shown around and stuff. But, you know, he's one of those guys that was arrested and yeah. and uh, just Made sitting Made out in. to be a... And there's actually, now anarchist. that I think about it, this guy that's been asking to be on the podcast, our friend Dylan Becker, um, his girlfriend, her dad, is in is in uh, jail from the, the January 6th shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So maybe, we really? get, maybe we get her on here and talk to her about it. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd yeah. be He's great. He's still sitting in there. What? Damn. Seriously? So, Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. A whole year Just, and a few He's months? the Kansas City guy? That, Long time. I think I heard about... Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what the name is, but maybe we'll... If, if you guys want to see that on the podcast, let us know. Leave a comment. We'll, yeah. we'll try and get that put together. Yeah, if she's willing to come on, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Definitely. All yeah, right. but again, it's just the media creating hate. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. They they use the George Floyd's cases in the January sixth. They don't they fall use, into the trap. Right. Don't follow <clears throat> the masses. George Floyd was a drug addict, criminal. Yeah. The dude's a piece of shit. Yeah. Nobody should have burned down any cities for that guy. Right. Look into it. Yeah. He wasn't. He wasn't murdered. Yeah. Those cops that are sitting in prison, that one that got stabbed. He got stabbed because a drug addict did what he did and died mm. because he took drugs. Simple. We'll probably end up on the news. Yeah, we'll probably end up on the news. Again. Fuck him. You want to fucking report us? If you're, you're you, whoever the coward is, is probably watching this. Fuck, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Send it in, Freedom man. Freedom of speech, motherfucker. Get us on KMBC. Get us on something. You know, on on <clears throat> your side of the deal. Let's do it. Like we said, we're still open to uh, people coming up here and having a podcast, you know, talk with us. If you want to do it, then, you know, guys, keep running your mouth. and Yeah. Yeah, come keep, up here and run your keep mouth. making us big. Yeah. Don't yeah. sit on the sideline. Let's talk. Yeah. Let's do it. Like, nobody, nobody knows who you are. You realize that, right? So, like, yeah. it's like you're doing nothing. Anybody. You're not doing anything for yourself. You're doing a lot for us. Yeah. That's really it. 
Anybody can hide behind a Facebook post, say whatever <clears throat> they want, right? No. Anybody can do that. Let's come yeah. on here and talk. Yeah, Let's come to the it. pod. We'll put a bag over your head to yeah. hide, hide your identity. Put, put a mask yeah. on. Yeah. Do the voice changer. Put a bag on the head. Yeah. Yeah. On there. Or on just there, blur out their face. All right. Well, <laughs> next topic, TikTok. Should it be banned? You guys think it should be banned? No. I no. don't think they should have the uh, the ability to ban shit, but honestly, I don't give a fuck about TikTok. It does have a lot of big, like one of the biggest news sources, like people, you know. You can get a lot of information yeah, exactly. on there pretty quickly when something happens. Yeah, no, facts. Yeah, for sure. But it's just one of those things. I'm just like, yeah, I think just like heavier regulation on it. Because like, I mean, if you look at um, like the rules with TikTok in China, like they don't like there's no like for you like it's it's strictly like uh educational for them oh yeah they can oh, only yeah. be on at a certain time yeah the folks in china um, can't even see news world yeah news, they right? would never they, allow no. us to have a oh, social yeah. media company owned by us in their country yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is like where is uh, if you're able to ban things because it's whatever it is harmful to the country where does that lead to when you give the the government ability to mm-hmm. do that you know, you end up with the only social media companies are within America that the government can monitor. Just like China. That can control <clears throat> what's said. Yeah. You know, you, you lead yourself into this, you know, this dark path. Yeah, it's a dangerous path for sure. You need yeah. to be really careful with this kind of thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, I would, I would almost rather them ban TikTok than let China be in control of what they're feeding on our feed, For You page. Because, if you, like in the long term, it's going to be a lot more detrimental to to us and to the especially the younger kids in you know in the United States. Like we're like with how much technology these kids are getting and how much time they're spending on it. Yeah. Um, it would almost do us better for like to eat that bullet on on like them having the the power to delete TikTok like. How about, Whatever. how about we just encourage parents to take control of their kids' yeah. lives and monitor how much Stop they use Stop being these lazy. Yeah. Well, it's like there's probably so many other threats. Like, you didn't shoot down the spy balloon. I, I know. Yeah. Why I are you don't know you're worried about TikTok was. now? Yeah. I know. Well, you know. Yeah. And Trump comes out and he says, like, if you ban TikTok, it gives facebook and meta and all that shit gives it doubles their capabilities yeah you know everybody's gonna run to another platform zucker what yeah so zucker schmuck zucker, oh, zucker schmuck yeah is that what he called him mm-hmm. yeah. schmucker buck schmucker buck what was the other nickname you were talking about george Sloppinopolis. <laughs> is what he called him the other day <laughs> i'm trying to find this there we go. yeah zucker schmuck that's what he said yeah, hit up your girl. Like, hey, let me get some. Let me get that slopinopolis. Yeah. <laughs> if you get rid of TikTok, Facebook, and Zucker Schmuck, will double their business. I don't want Facebook, who cheated in last election, doing better. They are a true enemy of the people, says Trump. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I think there's other threats. I think uh, there's. I just you can't trust these motherfuckers. You just no. feel like there's some agenda behind every move, even if it seems good. You know. Yeah. It's uh, I I think it would be good if they sold it to uh, anybody but China, right? You know anybody right. out there China that's a or friend, Russia. yeah. But I don't think that it should just be an American thing, an American company. Mm-hmm. I think you do that, or if it's like somebody in NATO or you know some shit, like it just leads you, like, down this path where you're controlled. You know, these social media platforms are going to end up just like Fox and CNN and all these. You know all these mainstream media platforms that That's true. that they're owned by the same people and they're That's they're following point. the same narrative and they're under the same government. So they, you know, there's That's a good point. Can, you know, yep. this leads you down a dark path. It does. It's dangerous. Got to be real careful with these things. We're for freedom, freedom of speech. So, yep. freedom you know, to think the way you want to think, and speak the way <clears> you want. <throat> what do you want to talk about? You yeah. know, the but fuck China, yeah, the I, government I agree. Fuck of China. China, not the people. Yeah, I love the. Yeah. Chinese people. Yeah. I, I might hop up to China Feast you know now. I'm now, now thinking China about it. Give me some sesame down chicken, right on the but. Street, <laughs> but. <laughs> Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But great podcast. We actually um, 
what are we doing this weekend for St. Patrick's oh, Day? Oh, yeah, we got St. Pat's Day this weekend. I think we're going to go up to Nana's. Our Here Nana's birthday is St. Patrick's Day. Going to go yep. do some landscaping tomorrow. Yep. Uh, and I think we're going to hop up at uh, Hillsiders, yeah. our friend Lugie's yep. uh, bar Sounds over in is it Strawberry Hill. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry yeah. Hill. Yeah. Hillsiders. Yeah. Check Moody's. it out. Lugie's a great dude. Free range we, uh, Hillsiders. There was these pussies talking shit about you hiding behind a fake name. Maynard's actually our yeah. grandfather's name, who yeah. was fought in World War II, oh yeah. chased down Hitler, badass motherfucker. He was murdered here in Kansas City, and people yeah. were calling you a pussy for using that name. Yeah. So you motherfuckers, <clears throat> idiots. Like I, I don't want to get taken off YouTube, yeah. so I don't even finish. <laughs> but Lugie stepped in and was like, "Who's talking shit?" When I posted that, so shout out Lugie. Yeah. If you guys Thank are in you. Strawberry Hill ever, stop by Hillsiders. Yep. Yes, sir. Hillsiders. But everybody yep. have a great weekend. Yep. Live your free reign. Free Appreciate reign. you. Yes, sir.